Thank you for joining us here today in reInvent 2020, where we'll talk about evolution in edge computing with AWS Snowcone and AWS Snowball Edge. My name is Ramesh Kumar, and I'm the Senior Manager of Product Management in the AWS Snow Family Service, which includes a family of secure and rugged devices for edge computing and data transfer. First, I'll provide you an overview of the continuum of AWS services from the cloud to the edge. I'll talk about how you can use the Snow family of devices to meet your needs for edge computing workflows. I'll walk you through how customers can use AWS Snowcone and AWS Snowball Edge uh, to meet their requirements for specific edge computing workflows including IoT use cases on a factory floor or in other industrial scenarios, IoT use cases in healthcare facilities. I'll discuss how telecommunication customers can use Snowcone and Snowball Edge to install and deploy private LTE and 5G wireless networks. I'll talk about how automotive customers are using Snowcone and Snowball Edge to import to AWS the hundreds of terabytes of data that is generated each day from their fleet of autonomous test vehicles. I'll provide you with an overview of the AWS services from the cloud to the edge. Starting with the AWS cloud on the left, when running applications in AWS, customers experience the full scale, elasticity, service offering, online management, and monitoring that AWS provides. Running applications in AWS is suitable for most use cases, but not for all use cases. What is interesting is the evolution of a whole new set of use cases that are driving increased capability and increased processing at the edge of the cloud, or even beyond the edge of the network. These applications are driven by the need uh, to carry out low latency processing in real time of the data that is generated and captured at the edge location. Or they are driven by data residency requirements. As you move to the right, you see AWS outposts at on-premises edge locations. AWS Outposts extends AWS infrastructure and service offerings to on-premises locations. Below Outposts, you see AWS Local Zones. AWS Local Zones is AWS infrastructure that is deployed in large population areas or IT centers where no AWS region exists today. Below local zones, you see AWS Wavelength. AWS Wavelength is AWS infrastructure that is optimized for mobile edge computing applications. AWS Wavelength is deployed within the communication service providers network so that data from the 5G handheld devices or subscriber devices can reach the application servers without even leaving the telecommunication network. As you move to the right on the slide, you'll see the rugged or non-data center edge locations. At the bottom right, you see AWS Snowcone and AWS Snowball Edge that are suitable for use in remote and austere edge locations where there is no network connectivity, uh, such as a factory floor or on a ship. With AWS Snowcone, I'm excited about the benefits it brings to customers as customers can use it in mobile and uh, portable workflows. They can use it in outdoor locations at a construction site. They can use Snowcone um, in an autonomous vehicle or attached to a moving robot or even attached to a drone for photogrammetry type applications. On the top right, you see AWS IoT services and AWS RoboMaker, which are ideal for use in factory, industrial, automotive, 
smart city and smart home type applications. However, working with edge devices can be very challenging. And some of the challenges are described on the slide. In some edge locations, customers may not be able to upload or import data to AWS because they do not have network connectivity. Think about operations in a mine or an oil rig. In some other use cases, customers may not be able to, aff may not be able to afford to upload all the data that is generated at the edge. Uh, think about the hundreds of terabytes of data that is generated each day uh, from a fleet of autonomous test vehicles. In some other use cases, like healthcare or financial use cases, the local rules, laws, or regulations may prevent customers from importing their data uh, to the cloud. Customers have to also contend with a wide set of edge devices. Uh, some edge devices, like smart speakers, naturally connect to the network. Some other edge devices, like pumps, valves, or motors, may connect to the operational network of the factory floor, but not to the external network. And then you have devices like electronic blood pressure meters that have no network connectivity at all. In this next section, I'll talk about how customers can use the Snow family of devices to meet their needs for uh, their edge computing workflows. I'll provide an overview of the AWS Snow family of devices. On the right, you see AWS Snow Cone and AWS Snowball Edge for edge computing applications. Customers can use uh, the Snow devices as an IoT hub to capture and collect sensor data and process it locally in real time to make quick decisions. Customers can run image processing, video analytics, uh, uh, applications on the Snow devices at the edge. They can also run their machine learning inference models on the captured data at the edge. In these use cases, the Snow devices can operate independent of any connectivity to AWS for long periods of time, making the Snow devices suitable for use in disconnected environments or in environments where there is uh, intermittent network connectivity or a network connected connectivity uh, with low bandwidth. On the left, you see AWS Snow Cone, AWS Snowball Edge, and AWS Snowmobile for data transfer applications. Customers can use multiple Snowball Edge devices to transfer up to 10 petabytes of data uh, from on-premises edge locations to AWS. And customers can use Snowmobile for data center migrations. Um, customers can also use uh, Snow Cone and Snowball Edge to capture process and move data to AWS from remote and austere edge locations where there is no network connectivity. When copying data to Snow Cone or Snowball Edge, the data is automatically encrypted using 256-bit encryption keys that you can manage with AWS Key Management Service or KMS. The encryption keys themselves are never stored on the Snow devices which means your data is safe and secure during device transit. Snowball Edge and Snow Cone feature a trusted platform module or TPM, which provides a hardware root of trust. Snow Cone is a small, ultra portable, secure, and rugged device. It's lightweight, it just weighs 4.5 pounds or 2.1 kilos which means customers can carry Snow Cone in a backpack or in a messenger bag. Uh, Snow Cone is rugged and it can operate in harsh conditions. Uh, you can operate it, it can withstand vibration. Customers can operate it in humid and dusty environments. They can use it in outdoor locations in the rain and freezing cold temperatures. They can use it in hot desert climates. Uh, you can operate Snow Cone in an autonomous vehicle to capture data from the sensors. You can uh, attach Snow Cone to a moving robot to uh, capture data from sensors in a field over a large area. 
You can also attach snow cone to a, a drone uh, to capture images and videos for photogrammetry type applications. And in these uh, mobile workflows, uh, you can operate snow cone with a battery. Snow cone supports two CPUs and four gigabyte of memory to run your edge compute applications on the captured sensor data or images or videos. And once you've captured the data on snow cone, you can uh, get the data or import the data into uh, AWS in two ways. One, simply ship the data, ship the snow cone device back to AWS for offline data transfer. However, if you want to keep snow cone for the long time for ongoing use cases where a new set of data is being generated on an ongoing basis, then once you've copied data to snow cone, simply connect snow cone to the network at your home your office, or even a hotel room, and transfer the data online using AWS DataSync. Every snow cone device comes pre-installed with the AWS DataSync agent. Once you've completed the online transfer, then the snow cone device is available to capture and process the next set of data. For Snowball Edge, it, it is available in two different configurations. On the left, you see Snowball Edge Compute Optimized Device. The Compute Optimized Device supports 42 terabytes of storage. To run your Edge Compute applications on the Compute Optimized Device, it supports 52 vCPU and 208 gigabyte of RAM memory. The Compute Optimized Device also features an optional NVIDIA GPU uh, module which you can use for image processing or video analytics or to run machine learning inference uh, functions at the edge. To uh, run your edge computing applications on the snow devices, you first have to develop your edge computing application in the AWS cloud. You can develop your compute application as an Amazon EC2 army in AWS. Once you've validated and tested your application, you can deploy your Amazon EC2 army on the Amazon uh, EC2 instances that are hosted on the Snow Snowball Edge devices. On the right, you see Snowball Edge Storage Optimized Device, which supports 80 terabytes of storage capacity. To run your filtering, pre-processing, or data transfer applications, the Storage Optimized Device supports up to 40 vCPU and up to 80 gigabyte of RAM memory. Customers can create a storage cluster with multiple Snowball Edge devices to store over a petabyte of data at their Edge location. AWS Ops Hub is an easy to use and intuitive graphical user interface tool that customers can use to manage multiple snow cone and snowball edge devices at their edge location. Um, to use AWS Ops Hub is pretty straightforward. Simply download AWS Ops Hub onto a local uh, machine, such as uh, a laptop that is connected to the same local network as the snow cone or snowball edge device. You can use AWS Ops Hub to set up, configure, and unlock the snow device with just a few clicks. The Ops Hub dashboard provides you with a view of the available resources on snow cone or snowball edge, such as the, the number of available vCPUs or the amount of available gigabyte RAM or the available storage. For your edge computing applications, you can use Ops Hub to set up an instance of the Amazon EC2 armies that have been preloaded on Snow Cone or Snowball Edge. And from there, you simply run your edge computing applications. For your data transfer applications, you can use AWS Ops Hub to set up your NFS file transfer or your object transfers with uh, the Amazon S3 compatible endpoint. Once you've set it up, you simply drag and drop files and objects to the Snow device. Uh, for if you want to trans once you've copied data to AWS Snowcone, if you want to transfer the data online to AWS, 
then you can use AWS Ops Hub to activate the data sync service and set up the online data transfer task. In this section, I'll walk you through how customers can use AWS Snowcone and AWS Snowball Edge to implement specific edge computing workflows. First, let me provide you with an example of a typical edge computing workflow using Snowcone and Snowball Edge. In this scenario, industrial equipment or medical instruments are generating machine data that needs to be analyzed in real time at the edge location. You cannot transfer the data to AWS Cloud. There is no consistent network connectivity at this, in this scenario, and the environmental conditions and space are such, you simply cannot use a stack of servers, storage equipment, or networking equipment. The Snow family of devices are ideal for using in edge computing applications in these scenarios where customers can use the integrated and rugged uh, Snow devices in space-constrained and power-constrained environments. To run their edge computing applications, customers can download or deploy their Amazon EC2 armies on the Amazon EC2 instances that are hosted on Snowball Edge and Snowcone. Customers can also run their AWS IoT Greengrass functions on the Snow devices. The Snow devices support an EBS compatible volume for performance processing. You can also use the Amazon S3 endpoint or NFS file transfer to store data locally on Snowcone and Snowball Edge. The customer benefits of using Snowcone or Snowball Edge for edge computing applications in rugged and austere disconnected environments are shown at the bottom of the slide. Customers can use these hardened and rugged snow devices um, to run their edge computing application for long periods of time in disconnected environments or other rugged uh, environments. The highly integrated snow devices uh, can capture data, process data, and store the data locally, uh, replacing uh, previously used multiple devices that implement the same functions. The development model and operations model of uh, using the SNOW devices for edge computing applications is same as what you see in AWS. You develop your edge computing applications in AWS, either as Amazon EC2 armies or AWS uh, Greengrass functions, and then you can deploy them on the SNOW devices at the edge locations. The Snow devices are offered to uh, our customers as uh, a managed service. There is no upfront payment for the Snow devices and customers can keep the Snow devices for as long as they want. In this picture, customers are using Snowcone for edge computing applications on a factory floor. Given its small form factor and its ability to operate in harsh conditions, uh, customers can use, uh, use Snowcone and deploy Snowcone right next to the industrial machines that uh, it is managing. This architecture shows cust uh, how customers can use Snowcone or Snowball Edge for IoT use cases in a factory floor. On the right, you see the AWS cloud, and on the left, you see a factory floor. Snowcone or Snowball Edge can be deployed right next to the industrial machine that it's managing. In this case, an industrial robot that is operating on an automated assembly line. In many uh, cases, there may not be consistent network connectivity between the factory floor and AWS. And this is perfectly okay since the snow devices can operate independent of a connection to AWS for long periods of time. Customers can use the AWS IoT services, including AWS IoT Greengrass and AWS IoT SiteWise to capture and process sensor data from the industrial robot or from other sensors on the automated assembly line. Customers can run their Amazon SageMaker Neo optimized machine learning models 
on the captured data for predictive maintenance and other machine learning uh, functions. This IoT use case um, it, you know, is described for use on a factory floor, but it can be easily extended to other industrial scenarios, uh, such as operating IoT uh, network or an IoT hub in, in a construction site, on an um, oil rig, in oil fields, or mines, or on a ship, or other such industrial scenarios. This picture shows customers using snow cone in a healthcare facility. Customers can use snow cone to collect and process data in healthcare facilities, such as a hospital, a doctor's office, or in remote medical areas. This architecture shows how customers can use snow cone or snowball edge for IoT use cases in a healthcare facility. On the right, you see the AWS cloud, and on the left, you see the healthcare facility. You can deploy the rugged and hardened uh, snow cone or snowball edge device right next to the medical instrument that it's managing, in this case, an MRI machine. Many doctor's offices, and forward uh, and remote medical areas may not have a consistent network connectivity to AWS, and the snow devices can operate independent of a network connection for long periods of time. Customers can use AWS IoT Greengrass to capture uh, medical instruments data and process it in real time locally on the snow devices. Customers can also use Amazon SageMaker Neo optimized machine learning models for artificial intelligence applications. Now let's talk about how the snow devices makes it quick and easy for telecommunication customers to uh, install and deploy private LTE or 5G wireless networks. First, let's discuss why customers should deploy a, a private LTE or 5G wireless network versus using, say, just Wi-Fi. Some of the customer benefits of installing and deploying a private LTE or a 5G wireless network over using Wi-Fi are increased security, less interference over the air, and the ability to provide a differentiated quality of service depending on the client or subscriber device. For example, customers could use the SIM card to provide a higher quality of service to a 5G personal device versus an industrial machine. The key components of a private LTE or 5G wireless network are the radio network, the core network, the transport network, the internet connectivity, the spectrum management, the management of the whole network, and the subscriber devices. Now, let, now let's see how Snowcone can help customers solve the problems with their previous approach to install and deploy a private LTE or 5G wireless network. In the previous approach, customers used a three-device solution. One device to run the core network, a second one for, to run the computing applications, and a third device to store data locally. Uh, this three device solution uh, can, could operate only in indoor locations and could not be used in outdoor locations because it wasn't rugged. The three device solution required consistent network uh, uh, connectivity for its operation. And it took a long time, about four weeks for customers to install and deploy their network based on this previous approach. Snowcone solves the customer's problems by providing them a single integrated solution that can run the core network, run the compute applications, and store data locally. Since Snowcone is rugged and can operate in harsh conditions, you can, you can use Snowcone or customers can use Snowcone in both indoor and outdoor locations. Snowcone can operate disconnected with uh, AWS or any network connectivity for long periods of time. With Snowcone, telecommunication customers are able to install and deploy their private LTE or 5G wireless network in just one week. So Snowcone makes it 
easy for customers to deploy the network uh, very similar to a wi and makes it very similar to a Wi-Fi installation. The option shown on this slide is for a connected network operation. In this option, Snowcone runs the user plane of the core network, while the control plane of the core network is running in AWS, which means spectrum management and a network management runs in AWS. In this option, Snowcone supports up to 150 megabits per second of network capacity. This option is suitable and ideal for large-scale deployments. Think about uh, deployments across hundreds of retail establishments or college campuses, school districts, and even stadiums. Uh, for higher data throughput or network capacity, customers can use Snowball Edge instead of Snowcone, which supports up to 10 gigabits per second network capacity. In this option two or second option, it shows a disconnected network operation. In this option, the full mobile core, including user plane and control plane, run on Snowcone. Snowcone can support up to 100 megabits per second network capacity in this option. This option is suitable for use in rugged and austere edge locations. Think about mines, uh, oil rigs, or even on a moving robot. Now let's talk about how AWS and, Snow, and the Snow family make it easy and quick for automotive customers to import their data uh, generated by their fleet of autonomous test vehicles. For context, an autonomous test vehicle can generate up to 40 terabytes of data for each day of operation. And many automotive customers have a fleet of hundreds of or tens of uh, autonomous test vehicles. The data needs to be generated in the real world. The suite of data generating sensors, such as LIDARs, radars, and video cameras, uh, generate data and store it onto onboard data loggers. The data is then offloaded from the onboard data loggers to data processing machines uh, at the garage at the end of the test drive. The data is filtered, cleaned, and transformed into a usable format. The useful data is identified and the rest is discarded. The data then needs to be transported to the customer's data centers and stored in storage arrays. From there, the data is transferred to AWS. Once the data makes it to AWS, the automotive customers, machine learning experts, and data scientists can begin uh, using the data for simulations and uh, training their machine learning models. As you can see, this multi-step process takes a large amount of time and needs expensive data processing machines and storage arrays and disks to transport the data. Now let's look at how the Snow family of devices can make it easy and quick for the automotive customers. Customers can directly order their snow cone or snowball edge device to be shipped to the edge location where the autonomous test is being carried out. The data can be directly offloaded from the um, data loggers to Snowcone or Snowball Edge, either at the end of the test drive or even during the test drive as the snow devices can operate in the autonomous test vehicle. From there, simply ship the snow devices back to AWS to complete the data migration. So you can see how using the snow family of devices, um, and enables automotive customers to easily import their data to AWS in just a few uh, days. This picture shows uh, how customers can use AWS Snowcone in an outdoor location to capture sensor data and uh, process the data in real time at the outdoor edge location, whether it's sensor data or cam uh, videos or images captured by drone scanner. Thank you for attending today's session on evolution of edge computing with AWS Snowcone and AWS Snowball Edge. Please complete the session survey.